hello friends hope you are doing good and welcome back to my channel no attack VG video and uh, in this video we will learn how we can create a SSL certificate that will be required for uh, ADFS Federation so this is one of the requirement and uh, I thought this will be required if we are planning to uh, federate our, AD our AD ADFS uh, with Azure AD. So let's understand how we can create the ADFS uh, SSL certificate. So this is my server and uh, this is the domain controller as well. And uh, here I have installed the certi certificate authority role. If you don't know how to install that, so let me show you here. You have to go to manage and add roles and features. Next, next, and next and uh, this one you have to tick active directory certificate services and then click next and next and this is the simple installation so once this is done and you need to configure it so you have to have the domain admin rights so this certificate authority can be integrated with your active directory as well so for me this is done i already installed adcs role uh, let me open it certificate authority and he will here we will understand how we can create the ssl certificate for uh, adfs so i open the certificate authority and uh, here i have to go to the certificate templates so here I have uh, some of the templates which are already published and integrated with AD but I need to go and create a new template so you have to click on right right click on certificate template and then manage and you have to select to the computer and then you have to right click and uh, duplicate template and uh, here we have to make a uh, uh, couple of settings and so first we have to go to and uh, general tab and you have to give that name so i am generating the set uh, sorry i'm creating this template for adfs so i'll give a unique name as adfs one and uh, the validity for the certificate authority or the template that would be for two years and then you have to select to the request handling so you have to allow the private key so you have to select this checkbox allow private key so the key can be exported as and when they require it and you have to then go to security and uh, here you have to select the server where you are planning to install the ADFS so in my case this is the same server TC1 I'll select okay so we have to select object type then we have to select the computers as well so it can identify the computers as well so this is selected click OK and for this you need to allow full control apply oh, we are done let's validate one more time yes one more thing no. you need to click this option publish certificate in active directory so this can be published uh, in active directory as well so we are done apply then select ok so we have created the template ADFS1 let's close this go back to the previous screen and uh, then you need to do one more task here uh, just right click and click on new and uh, certificate template to issue so just click on that and look for the template which you created recently so this is my template which i just created adfs1 i have to just click on this and then ok so we can see this is already there the template is there and this is published so let's generate the certificate now so 
so to generate the certificate we have to go to MMC okay uh, we have to run the wizard go to file and add remove snap in then select certificate and add it and you have to select the computer account because this this is for computer account only and local computer yes okay so this will be basically your ADFS server and uh, since I have installed all the roles here ADFS and certificate authority so just for demonstration I am doing this here so we have to click on personal then right click then all task then request new certificate because we have uh, the certificate authority in our environment so we will we can request for new certificate okay the wizard will start you have to click on next and then next so all the templates you can see here so this is my template which I created and you have to just click on roll enroll okay it's enrolled successfully just click finish and go to the certificates now so here we can see the certificate which is created okay so ADFS so this is the certificate which is created and if you open the certificate you can see the detail your thumbprint your expiry thumbprint is there this is the subject and valid up to so this certificate will, will expire on 14th September 2024 so this certificate we can use uh, for ADFS uh, service communication So I think probably you understand understood the how we can create the SSL certificate called ADFS. In the next video, we will understand how we can tag this SSL certificate in ADFS service uh, while we are federating that. So that's it in this video. See you in next video. Thank you so much.